Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to another series in this channel. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and start working with building a fully functional to-do list application using Django, Django REST framework and React. And by the end of the series, you would be able to build a fully functional to-do list application and you're going to have a general and strong idea on how to build um, a crude application using Django, Django REST framework and React. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Do make sure to drop a like because that's subscribing as to really mean the world to me. And also check out the links in the description below. One or two of them I help you get started in your programming journey. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and demo the projects that we're going to be building in this video. And um, if I open up my browser, as you can see, I already have a manual for you guys that you could use to follow along with the tutorial. We have the front end, the back end section, and we also have the front end section creating the client side using React. And alongside that, we've set up everything like the database, the APIs and all that. And what I'm pretty much going to do now is go ahead and show you guys the end product of what we would be building. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and open up this folder with my code editor. And what I'm trying to do now is pretty much spin up a new application. Okay, so I'm going to come over to my terminal. As you can see, it's still loading up. When it's done loading up, then we're going to be able to do that. All right. So, um... All right, there you go. It's, it's opened up. So in this one over here, I'm going to CD into front end and I'm going to run NPM start. And in this one over here, I'm going to CD into back end and I'm going to run Python manage dot py run server just like that and i'm gonna zoom this in a little bit so you guys can see everything that's going on so right now what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and demo what you're gonna be building in this tutorial and hopefully you guys are gonna like and enjoy it all right so there you go this is what we have and i'd highly recommend that you guys follow the last tutorial where we went ahead and built a fully functional authentication system because that would be like a continuation of this video and most of the things that i have implemented in that video i will not be doing it in this video again for example the logouts the login the user registration and all that i will not be doing that in this video again because i have already done it in the previous one so do make sure to follow along with that tutorial because that's a continuation of this one all right so over here as usual you guys already know that we can log out we can log in and we can register a new user so i already have a user uh, with this email desfix at gmail.com and the password so i can just go ahead and log in and when we log in what do you notice we now have one more thing here in the in the nav bar so we now have another one called to do so if you followed along with the last tutorial that you know that we worked with dashboard getting all this api thing logging out logging in registering so that's why i want you guys to follow from that tutorial as well i want you guys to follow that tutorial so you'd be able to understand fully well everything that would be going on in this tutorial all right so now if we come over to to do what do you see we see a new to-do list application right and as you can see it calls my name it says destiny's to-do app and whichever user that logs in it's gonna call their name and say their to-do app and fetch their to-do application okay so if i go ahead and log out now and try creating a new user now i'm just gonna come over here and i'm gonna fill in this information and hit register uh oh i didn't jot down the email of the user so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up again copy this and i'm gonna change the username to something like this so you know so it makes more sense and um i think that should be it let's just go ahead and register and i'm gonna try logging in with that email and password that we just created right now and there you go we are logged in so as you can see it shows us a lot and it says login successful so right now if i come over to to do what do you notice it says cotagoros to do i don't know if that was the right pronunciation of that but as you can see he or she does not have any to do so that's why this list is empty so they can go ahead and add a new to do they can say something like buy milk and hit the add to do so there you go as you can see to do added and a new to do was added over here buy milk and we have this two button so right now that's how it works i'm just going to go ahead and log into my own account and as you can see it's fetch all my to do and we actually have this api running over here as you can see api is running over here and our web pack compiled successfully so we're able to display this reacts and we're able to grab all this to do from from the api so right now we can either delete to do or add to do or mark a to do as completed so i'm gonna add more to do i'm just gonna say um buy a new mouse all right so i'm gonna say buy a new mouse and i'm gonna hit add to do so right now if you want to mark this one as done you just hit this button and as you can see it's it crosses it out 
there you go so you can also mark this one as complete and as you can see it crosses it out so that means it's already done right and you can as well even go ahead and delete it if you don't need it any longer so once you hit this button what do you notice it's gone from the list and as you can see our page doesn't even refresh which means everything here is working perfectly well behind the scene without actually even refreshing the page and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that so you can as well go ahead and delete all the to-dos that you have and as you can see everything is gone and you can go ahead and start adding new to-dos all right so buy milk then we add so the the process of adding a new to-do buy milk rake leaves is the create create um um api view or is the create method so hopefully you already know crude create um read update and delete that's crude so the process of adding is the create then this process that of having all this over here is you can either say is the retrieve or the list all right so we got all this we got this two to do here we are either listing them out and retrieving them all right and also we can go ahead and update which means we can mark this as complete and as you can see it updates the to do we can also mark this as complete and it updates the to do and we can finally delete so we delete and as you can see the to do is gone that's working perfectly well i think hopefully you guys are going to learn a lot of things from this tutorial and um, at the end of the tutorial you should be able to have a fully functional to the list application that is also dynamic that will call your name when you're logged in and you know gonna do a lot of things with fully functional authentication system attached to it so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and the next one we're gonna go ahead and start setting up our Django project so until the next video mad love peace out